Welcome to Thursday Night Vespers. I'm glad to see you here as we quiet and calm our minds headed into the evening of rest and relaxation. As we get ready to hear our scriptures, let us take three deep calming breaths together. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought, by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, thy presence my life. Be thou my wisdom, and thou my true word. I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord. Thou my great Father, and I thy true Son. Thou in me dwelling, and I with thee one. Psalm 99. The Lord is king. Let the peoples tremble. He sits enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is he. Mighty king, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Extol the Lord our God, worship at his footstool, holy is he. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was also among those who called his name. They cried to the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them in a pillar of cloud. They kept his decrees and the statutes that he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but an avenger of their wrongdoings. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Acts chapter 16, verse 16. One day, as we were going to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners a great deal of money by fortune-telling. While she followed Paul and us, she would cry out, These men are slaves to the Most High God, who proclaim to you a way of salvation. She kept doing this for many days. But Paul, very much annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, I order you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out in that very hour. But when the owners saw what had been done to their money-making, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them to the marketplace before the authorities. When they had brought them before the magistrates, they said, These men are disturbing our city. They are Jews, and they are advocating customs that are not lawful for us Romans to adopt or observe. The crowd joined in in attacking them, and the magistrates had them stripped of their clothing and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After they had given them a severe flogging, they threw them into prison and ordered the jailer to keep them securely. Following these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and fastened their feet to the stocks. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can Listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.